guys, it's me Stormy and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of July 30th as we get ready to head into a whole new month moving into August, really good times and I think it's kind of a fiery week this week. We actually don't have a whole lot of planetary activity that I feel like is hugely significant on the general whole but because we have this big fiery Mars and Uranus square off happening this week and we already saw one of these happen in May and if you haven't watched my video on that definitely check it out because it's a very powerful energy and the other reason I think that this is so impactful this week is because Mars is retrograde whereas the last time they were both in forward and direct motion so we got kind of this big taste of break free energy but with Mars retrograde this time on August 1st when they go on ahead and square each other again what's happening is you are breaking free we are all breaking free from actions and attitudes and desires of our past depending on where these two energies are falling in your individual chart but the other part about this besides this need to break free from these things is this can be kind of unpredictable in the ways that we do it this energy involving uranus which is an outer planet tells us that this could also have a global kind of energy with it as well i wouldn't be surprised if we don't start to see um things in politics maybe get a little bit fury those temperatures are going a little bit up as the politics and the political conversation continues to stir um, i wouldn't be surprised if we don't see things happening globally in in the weather or things like that whenever one of our outer planets gets involved it becomes much more than a pressure point for personal things right it also starts to involve all of our society as well so it's definitely going to be a week this week to be paying attention and again this square is happening on august 1st now here's the other thing that kind of has come to me over this last week in terms of the thought we've got a trine between the sun who's going to be in leo and the moon who's going to be in aries now a trine is always a nice energy it's harmonious it's favorable it can be useful and easy but the fact that these two energies are in fire signs and they have fire influence I almost feels like adds an extra layer of intensity to what we've got going on with this Mars Uranus square this week. So what are my cautionaries for the week? Definitely be mindful of being too impulsive, too rash, too anything, right? Like that is going to be harmful to another person or that's actually going to take away from you trying to break free instead of adding to it. What do I think you definitely should be doing is looking at the pieces of you and in yourself where maybe your individuality, you're not shining it through, right? Where are the places in your social groups where this conversation is needed to be had for a while so now it's just risen to the surface and it's time to let it go where is the place for some of us in in the world where we need to stand up and be a little bit more assertive about what we do not want from our past anymore what actions don't you want to be a part of anymore um we're going to have Uranus taking his retrograde as we get to the 7th of August. But as far as it goes this week, this guy, this week, you guys, I also wonder if we don't see something happening with maybe a breakthrough in science or, you know, a a, tech, <laughs> a technological situation. This could be an energy of hacking. This could be any of these kinds of things that could just could definitely be energy that's on the um, on the agenda this week. So, you know, the level will be pumping. I am wondering what's going to be boiling up and over for you this week. Now, I did want to throw in here as well as I trip over my Mercury retrograde words that if you happen to have Mars and Uranus in a square in your natal chart, this actually makes you very progressive. It can, very creative. The things that you do and how you get them done are gonna be done with a sense of being very unique or very different. They're just not gonna go along the lines of tradition, right? Because this is such a creative energy when you have these placements like this in the birth chart. I also think that people who have Mars in a square to Uranus, 
sometimes can be very conflicting people or it's less that they want to be conflicting but you're not going to wonder about what they think you're not going to wonder about what's on their mind you know what i mean because it's a very spontaneous electric moving kind of energy and they really don't do a lot to try to contain that typically or they can't you know what i mean so these are just some things to consider this week as you look over your chart and see how these energies are going to definitely be playing out in your individual charting or if you have no idea what that looks like for you this week go ahead and come visit me at stormygrace.com let's get ready for august let's get ready for the last part of the eclipse oh and let's get ready for astrology 101 which is kicking off in september so if you'd like to sign up for that class registration closes august 25th and you can sign up in the description box down below or by coming to stormygrace.com all right you guys i love you so much and i will see you next week